Wake Forest has some guys in their defensive backfield that I don't think are getting enough love. We talked about cornerback Kalen Carson a little while back, and he's a player who I am pretty high on, and I don't think he's getting the love in which he deserves. But the Demon Deacons also had a star safety who has been rather productive over the last few seasons, and I don't think he's being talked about enough. Malik Mustafa is a player who a lot of people really like as a sleeper safety in this class, and I think he has some tools that are really going to translate well to the NFL level. How high is he going to end up be taken in the 2024 NFL Draft? That is what we are going to be talking about in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys would like to see me talk about in the next video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Mustafa has been a staple for the Demon Deacons defense over the past couple of seasons. His 2022 season, he had 58 total tackles, 3.5 sacks, and 3 pass deflections. The numbers didn't jump off the page necessarily, but he showed some pretty solid upside, and in 2023, he had a very good year. He had 80 total tackles, an interception, and 2 pass deflections on the year. He also had a pretty solid senior bowl, and he's a pretty intriguing prospect in the draft class. Mustafa thrives when he was lined up at the box, and that's where Wake Forest used him a lot. When you watch the tape, he is an excellent run defender and a very good blitzer. He has really good short area burst and quickness, and he did a very good job at coming downhill and defending the run. That was something that really impressed me about his game, and I love to see that. He is a tackling machine. He seemed to always find himself in the pile and trying to make a tackle, and I think that's something that's very intriguing about him. I will say that it does feel like he can take some wide angles, and it leads to some missed tackles at times. But I definitely think he can improve on this, but he has a lot of really solid tools as a tackler, and it's one of his best traits. Mustafa also has some really solid movement abilities. He has very fluid hips, and he can stop and go on a dime. He also has very good speed to match up with receivers down the field. He has the abilities to play in man-to-man -man coverage, which is something that you love to see from a safety. He offers some versatility to the backfield, which are all great things about his game. In coverage, I think he has some really solid instincts. He reads the quarterback's eyes well, and he plays extremely physical. He is one of the more physical safeties in the draft class, and I love the aggression in which he plays with. He is lightning in a bottle, some would say. Another thing that I really like about Mustafa is that he is extremely fast. We didn't get to see him run at the Combine, but he may have run in the 4-3s. He is an exceptionally athletic player, and he is very, very fluid for his position. I wish we could have seen what his 40 time is, because I think it would have blown the Combine up. Mustafa does have a pretty small frame, especially for a safety who thrives mostly in the box. He is 5'11", 207 pounds, and while he has gotten a lot bigger since he first came into college, and he's added on 25 pounds, he does look small sometimes out there. I'm not too worried about his size, and if you've watched the Javon Bullard video last night, you would know, I'm not too concerned about the size of some of these guys, but it is something I want to take note of. Another thing that Mustafa needs to work on is learning to not bite on double moves. He plays so aggressive in man-to-man -man coverage, trying to make a play on the football, that I think it causes him to be susceptible to allowing some bigger plays over the top. I think he needs to tone it down just a little bit, and he's going to be a very hard player to contain if he can do that. Mustafa is a guy who I've gone back and forth with. The tackling angles are iffy at times, but he is still a strong tackler. His size is iffy, but it's not something I'm concerned about, and there's other smaller guys in this class too that I really like. His athleticism is off the charts, and honestly, while writing this script, he's moved up my boards quite a bit. He is my number 9 safety in the class. There are a lot of things I really like about him, and I think he could be a really solid player at the next level. He is my number 93 overall player in the class. Wake Forest played him in the box a lot, and I don't think that should change for him at the NFL level. He has the athleticism and the tackling abilities, and the ways that which he crashed the run I think makes him a perfect box safety at the next level. He has the instincts and athleticism to do more if he needs to, 
but I think playing him in the box would be best for his development. My player comparison for Mustafa is Houston Texan safety Jalen Petrie. Despite being a lot faster than Petrie, I actually think they have very similar play styles. They both are excellent tacklers and are good in run support, and they allowed some bigger plays over the top in college for different reasons. I'm a big fan of Petrie, and I think he's been solid for Houston so far in his career, and I think Mustafa can be a more athletic version of that. Malik Mustafa is an uber-athletic safety. He has some unreal athleticism and is a very strong tackler. I think he can be a very solid player at the next level, and ultimately, I believe he will be a fourth-round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.